everyone. Welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this tulip doily. Now before we get started, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I am using crochet hook 3 millimeters. You can use any crochet yarn, but for this project, I am using crochet 4 ply cotton yarn and I have used 3 colors. So let's get started. We begin with a slip knot and once you have your slip knot you need to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now once you have your chain of 5 you need to work a slip stitch in the first chain. Now once you've done that, you chain 3. This will be counted as the first double crochet of this row. We are starting the first row. And after you chain 3, you need to work 11 double crochets in this circle. So we start with 1, 2, 3, 4 and you need to continue working 11 double crochets in the circle. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain 3 right here and now counting the first chain 3 you need to have a total of 12 stitches. Now for the next row you chain 3 this will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the same stitch you work one double crochet. Now in the next stitch you work two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch two double crochets. One and two. And you need to continue working two double crochets in each stitch of this row. And towards the end you need to have a total of 24 stitches. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch. And now we're going to start the next row. You chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. In the next stitch you need to work 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. In the next stitch 1 double crochet and in the next stitch 2 double crochets 1 and 2. Again in the next stitch 1 double crochet and in the next stitch 2 double crochets 1 and 2. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right here. And now to start the next row, you chain 3. In the next stitch, you work 1 double crochet. In the next stitch, 1 double crochet. And now you chain 1 and now you need to work 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches 1 2 and 3 and now you chain 1 so after every 3 double crochets you need to chain 1 so 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches it's 1 2 and 3 and you chain 1 and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you join it with a slip stitch and now we're going to start the next row you chain 3. This will be counted as a first double crochet 
in the next stitch you work two double crochets one and two and in the next stitch one double crochet and now you chain two now again you have a set of three double crochets here in the first one you work one double crochet in the second one two double crochets and in the third one one double crochet chain two again in the next double crochet you have three double crochets here in the first one one double crochet in the second one two double crochets and in the third one one double crochet and you're going to be skipping the chain space throughout the row so in the first double crochet one double crochet in the second two double crochets in the third one double crochets and chain two you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now we're going to start the next row you chain three in the next double crochet you need to work one double crochet in the next double crochet that's the third one you work two double crochets one and two and in the last double crochet you work one double crochet chain two skip the chain space in the first double crochet you work one double crochet in the second one one double crochet in the third one two double crochets one and two and in the fourth one one double crochet now you chain two and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with the slip stitch and now to start the next row you chain three in the second double crochet you work one double crochet in the third one you work one double crochet and in the fourth one you work two double crochets one and two now in the last double crochet here you work one double crochet chain two you need to skip the chain space again in the first double crochet you work one double crochet in the second you work one double crochet in the third you work one double crochet in the fourth stitch you work two double crochets one and two and in the fifth one you work one double crochet and now you chain two and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now to start the next row you chain three in the second stitch you work one double crochet in the third stitch one double crochet in the fourth stitch one double crochet 
and in the fifth stitch you need to work two double crochets one and two and in the last stitch one double crochet chain two you need to skip the chain space in the first stitch one double crochet second stitch one double crochet third stitch one double crochet fourth stitch one double crochet in the fifth one you work two double crochets and in the last stitch one double crochet and chain two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now to start the next row you work a chain three now you need to work one double crochet in the next six stitches one two three four five and six in the chain space you work three double crochets one two and three now again you need to work one double crochet in the next seven stitches one two three four five six and seven again in the chain space you work three double crochets one two and three and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and now you chain one and cut your yarn we are going to change the color for the next row I've changed the color of the background because I'm using a darker thread so we are going to start the row right here where you completed your row that's the first stitch join your yarn and chain three now in the same stitch you need to work one triple crochet yarn over twice insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through last two loops now you chain one now in the same stitch you need to work two triple crochets together now to do that yarn over twice insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and you need to stop there again yarn over twice insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through now you have one two three four five loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops now you have three loops you need to yarn over pull through all three loops now you chain one you need to skip three stitches here one two and three in the fourth stitch we are going to work 
the triple crochet together again so for that you need to yarn over twice and in the fourth stitch one two three and this is the fourth one insert your hook into the stitch yarn over pull through now you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops do not complete your stitch again yarn over twice insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops now you're left with three loops yarn over pull through all three now you chain one and in the same stitch you need to work two triple crochets again so that's one and two and you complete your stitch chain one now you need to skip three stitches one two and three in the fourth stitch again you need to be working triple crochet so in the fourth stitch we are going to work two triple crochets two triple crochets together chain one and in the same stitch two triple crochets together And now you chain one again and now you need to continue working this stitch till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain three that you started this row with and now you chain one and cut your yarn we're going to change the color for the next row now we're going to start making the flowers at the border now you can join your yarn in any of these v stitches i'm going to go in right here and join your yarn and chain three one two and three now in the same stitch you need to work six double crochets this will be counted as a first double crochet you work six double crochets in the same stitch one two three four five and six now you pull up the last stitch insert your hook in the first stitch the first chain three and you need to pull this loop through the stitch like this and now you chain three one two and three right into the space you need to work a single crochet again chain three one two three in the same space work a single crochet chain one in this space right here you work a single crochet and now in the next chain space 
you need to work 7 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Pull up the last loop. Insert your hook into the first stitch here. You need to pull this loop through the stitch. Chain 3. A single crochet in this space. Chain 3. Single crochet in the same space. Chain 1 and now you need to work a single crochet in this space. And now you need to continue working these flowers till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you need to work a slip stitch into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. And now you chain one and cut your yarn. We've completed working the tulip flower doily. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.